Whenever you're away from home, on vacation, or traveling for work, you might be a little worried or at least curious about what's going on while you're away. Or maybe you want to keep an eye on your office area, or even monitor your child while you're in another room. All of these problems can be solved with a little video surveillance. Companies will charge you hundreds if not thousands of dollars to set this up, but if you're looking for a quick and dirty solution, I've got you covered. I'm Sharon Vaknin for CNET with a guide to turning any webcam into a video surveillance camera that you can monitor with your tablet or smartphone. To show you how all of this works, I'm going to use my laptop to monitor my desk area because I'm pretty sure someone's been swiping gum off my desk when I'm not around. To get started, you'll need to install a piece of software on any computer you want to use as a camera and an app on your tablet or smartphone. Head to your computer and download iCam Source. It's free and you can grab it from skjm.com. Once it's installed, start the program and select your webcam from the drop down list next to Video Source. Now, before you hit start, create a login username and password. Use one that you'll remember, but make sure it's secure enough so that no one, especially friends and family, can crack it. When you're done, click Start. You'll likely be prompted to let iCam through your firewall. Click Allow Access to continue. Now, repeat this installation for every webcam you want to use for surveillance. If you want to add additional cameras or want to use something a little more discreet than a computer, consider purchasing IP cameras. They're standalone cameras that can connect to your network and stream the surveillance. Setup instructions for using one with iCam are available on the website. But for my purpose, using my work computer's webcam is good enough. Now grab your phone or tablet and install the iCam app on your device. That's how I'll monitor my computer's webcam. There are apps available for Android and iPhone, so just search for iCam in your app store. When you launch the app for the first time, it'll ask you if you want to receive push notifications. That's up to you, but I'm enabling it so when iCam detects motion, I'll get a push notification almost immediately. Now enter your login, hit done, and you can start monitoring right away. All right, now that it's all set up, let's put it to work. I'm gonna put my laptop back at my desk and see what happens while I'm away. Maybe I'll finally identify the perp who owes me a pack or two of gum. All right, with iCam running at my desk and the app on my iPad, I'll wait to see if it detects any motion. All right, I got an alert, so we'll open up the app. And there she is. Looks like Corrine and I will be having a little discussion later today. Now, a couple of things. For this whole setup to work, the computers you'll be using for surveillance need to stay on and connected to the internet. And since the stills iCam records when it detects motion are kept on the computer that sees them, you won't be able to access those images while you're away. To get around this, consider putting the iCam Source Motion Events folder in your Dropbox so you can access them anywhere. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter and subscribe to my Facebook page for more tips like this. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin.